Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl D Love. Um, I was talking to God this morning and he placed something in my heart. Um, I was I'm reading a book called Lady in Waiting by Jackie Kendall and Debbie Jones. And um this book is talking about I'm talking about basically um what it is to wait on God um and not wait on mankind, you know, to fill that empty void for your own and stuff like that. Basically it's saying to not be not look for Mr. or Mrs. Wright, but to be Mr. and Mrs. Wright. You know? Um of course this is a book for women, so it's to be Mrs. Wright instead of looking for Mr. Wright. Um, but I do believe that they should get a book for men, but whatever, that's just me. But anyway, so um, I basically want to do a prayer. This is prayer uh, mode on. And we're basically going to pray for the uncertainty um, and being okay in that. All right? Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we just want to thank you, Lord God, that even when we are uncertain, God, that you are certain, Lord God, that we don't have to know every detail to our life, God, because you are going to reveal to us regardless, oh God. We pray, Lord God, right now in the name of Jesus, God, that you place this, this spirit of calmness, Lord God, power, love, and a sound mind that we may not fear the unknown, but we may embrace the known, that you have the unknown in your hands, oh God. For you said that you know the plans that you have for us, so Lord God, let us be waiting patiently in you, Lord God, because you did say that patience is a virtue, Lord God. So we ask right now, Lord God, that we you give us patience, God. Lord God, that you give us a sound mind, love, Lord God, power, oh God. Lord God, that you give us the okay to stand in our questions, oh God, that we know and have faith that you will reveal to us these things as long as we are aligned in your will. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, I pray that your Holy Spirit guides us to the right path, that we don't have to be lost in this world that never answers any questions but leaves us confused. And Lord God, you are not an author of confusion. You are an author, Lord God, of knowing, Lord God. You are an author of the beginning and the end. Therefore, you know and you have written out our life already, Lord God. You have already set down the path. Therefore, the beginning and the end and the everlasting is in you, oh God. So we don't have to worry, Lord God, when we're in you, but we know in the name of Jesus that you have us in your hands. So right now, Lord God, I pray for every individual watching this video and that's saying this prayer out loud with me, Lord God, that they may know, Lord God, that you have them in their hands. Speak to them like never before, oh God. Answer their prayers, oh God. Hear them out, oh God, in your perfect timing, oh God. For we know that your will is beautiful and perfect in its own way, Lord God. And that your ways are better than our own and that your thoughts are not our thoughts. And we thank you, Lord God, that you are not like us, oh God, but that you are higher than us. Because you created us, therefore you know us better than we know ourselves. So we thank you, Lord God. We ask, Lord God, that you hear this prayer, oh God. Take us into your hands, Lord God, and just... Let, allow us to be in there waiting and that you will exalt us in due time for that's what your word says oh god i declare and decree in the name of jesus right now victory prosperity lord god and all that goes in between your blessings miracles lord god and everything else that goes in between that bless our family and friends lord god in the name of jesus that we may be able to be a light to those who are lost and that we may fulfill your ministry in the name of jesus thank you lord god for all that you're doing in our lives we love you we thank you in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name and blood, we pray. Amen. I hope that was a blessing to you guys. God bless. Mwah. And good. Have a great afternoon.